Hi guys, I'm Carl. I'm working on the Porsche Macan GTS at the moment, and we're currently 3D printing some speaker rings. Welcome back to our YouTube channel, guys. My name is Ardil, and today's video is part of a behind the sound series on a Porsche Macan GTS audio system that we're carrying out. An absolutely lovely one at that. Today's video is giving you guys a little bit of an update about where we're up to, talking a little bit more detail about speaker adapters, how we're actually building them, as well as giving you a full guide about what's actually involved in getting a system sounding absolutely amazing. So let's get going. Let's start off by talking about power. The power of the system is powered by two amplifiers. So the amplifiers that we've got is something called an Audison Voce 5.1K, as well as a Hertz Miele Power 4. The two amplifiers are being basically configured into the system, running a fully active sound system. So basically each channel of the amplifier runs directly to individual components inside the vehicle. It makes a big, big difference. Plus it allows us to have a lot more control over the system. Talking now about control, that's all dealt by with the Hertz H8 processor. What the processor allows us to do, eventually we'll basically, after the install's all done, we'll actually go through, sit inside the car, and actually tune the system to our customer's music taste. And honestly, it makes such a difference having that product, because at the moment, you've got basically your head unit, which basically sends kind of bad information directly to your speaker system. Now with this new setup, we're basically taking that bad information from the factory radio into the processor. Processor is an intelligent bit of kit. So what it does is it cleans all that information up, makes it sound absolutely amazing. That then transfers over to the amplification set, amplifiers, then amplify that good audio over into the actual components itself. And that's how you create such a beautiful soundstage in these modern cars. In terms of this amplification, customer wanted a couple of things, and this is all dealt with during our audio consultation. So myself, the customer, sat down for about two hours, actually. We sat down and designed specs and went through everything in a load of detail. He wanted quite a clean, nice looking build, but something that didn't obstruct the battery from being accessed, but also didn't want to take up any room whatsoever. So that's exactly what we've done. The amplification rack sits on a board and it's all soundproofed under here as well, which makes a big, big difference, which we'll move on to later. But there's basically a board being built and fabricated at the moment that will sit over these, completely hide it away, and then the factory floor will sit right on top, full access to the battery as well. Really, really functional and exactly what our client asked for. So inside the door, you would have seen in episode one or previous episodes on Behind the Sound on this Macan GTS install that we're doing, it's talking about soundproofing, the importance of it, reducing those rattles and resonations that you get, but also building a far better acoustic environment inside this door. In terms of actually what product we're using, it's something called a Skins 2mm layer on this occasion. During that audio consultation, we sat down with our client and actually went through everything in a lot of detail. The customer was after the black look inside the door, even though it's completely hidden away. He wanted that over the silver stuff, so that's exactly what we've achieved, and it still performs really, really nicely, building that better environment for the speaker to work in. In terms of a couple of other things, so what the team have been working on is Lewis actually soundproofed this whole door, as well as actually acoustically taped up all of the factory wiring here as well that was possible to be done. The reason why I've done that, because obviously now we're adding more power into the system, adding a better component, we're basically in essence moving more air inside this door. So what that means is these cables that were kind of manufactured in such a way or bolted down in such a way from manufacturer, they weren't expecting obviously and wasn't designed to have this much movement of air inside a door. So we take that into account and we basically tape all of these features up to basically reduce that rattles and resonations and build that barrier environment. In terms of the actual cable run, what we're actually using is connections grade cabling and we've also got these little connectors here. So these connectors can't go wrong, it's literally one, one in, one out and also it means that everything is nice and safe. The original actual connector that was on factory speakers and different components, manufacturers are used to using connectors like this, so it's very easy and very obvious to see that that can easily be removed and that speaker can be removed without having to damage anything of our stuff that we've installed. In terms of the component that we've got inside this door, this is what's called a Hertz Mille Legend 1800. It's a seven inch woofer that sits and provides a lot more mid bass into the vehicle. But one thing I'm gonna hand over to Carl, who's gonna take over our YouTube channel, is talking a bit more about the actual adapters that we built to house these speakers into the vehicle. So with these speaker adapters, they're a little bit different to normal. They're not just a simple round ring that we'd normally use. Um, for example, the rear speaker, you've got your round circle, but then it's also got a bit of a bulge here, which is a lot more obvious from this side. And then the speaker's offset ever so slightly. 
So we need to take that all into consideration, take quite a few measurements from behind the door, inside the door card to make sure everything lines up and we're not gonna fail on any of the components behind the door cards or the um, window mechanism or anything along those lines. The tweeters were quite a tiny little unit and our ones are a little bit larger. So again, another lot of design had to go in where we've had to make a plate to fit inside the dashboard and then design a small recess for our tweeter then to sit inside of and drop down low enough so it doesn't fail on the plastic trim once that goes back on over the top. And the mid-range, they've got a bit of an odd shape to them. They're a round circle again, but all, the mounting points are all offset. So we've had to take quite a few measurements, photos, and then work on the 3D modeling software to design a model that we think is going to fit fine. And then move over to templates to make sure everything matches up perfectly before we then start printing a couple of layers like this one to then check that everything is going to fit perfectly before we then send it all over to the 3D printer. In the back doors, creating that rear feel and surround sound effect in the vehicle. What have we done? Similar to the front door, we've soundproofed it using the skin's two mil layer, all neatly done, as well as taped up factory wiring, as you can see here as well. In terms of the adapter, this is slightly different. Basically, the skin's water guard that we've got here, this gray rubber material, basically protects the back of the speaker, as well as helps sound waves travel further into the vehicle. They don't, skin sound water guard don't actually manufacture one for the seven inch woofer. So we've actually built that into the design of the front speaker in terms of that 3D printed design. But again, what we've got here is a 3D printed design, finished in the black, looks phenomenal. Little cable exit route for that to run really neatly and tidily, as well as reduce those rattles that potentially could occur, building a better environment for the system to work in. Having these rear coaxial speakers, so that, what a coaxial speaker basically means is the tweeter is built into the actual woofer itself, and it creates a really, really nice sound stage, especially for rear filling the vehicle. Just brings that overall sound in the vehicle, just makes it kind of travel around you, which makes a big, big difference. Thank you very much for watching today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, but there is more to come on the car. You're gonna be seeing the full finished article on the car, and honestly, it is well worth waiting for. Smash that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.